So it's the Montel Williams. Thank you so much for joining us, host of Military Makeover. So in your decades long career in television, you've interviewed thousands at this point. So why is it that the stories of veterans and veteran families interest you so much for this show? Well, it's not just about the stories of the veterans. You know, we, the show is called Military Makeover for a reason. We take deserving veteran families and we literally make their homes over from the ground up. So, um, you know, I've got a full team. Uh, I've got an interior designer, Jennifer Bertrand. I've got a, a corporate sponsor, liaison, Art Edmonds, who literally come together and we literally try to bring the entire community together and see if we can get volunteers to come out and help us and we literally make the home over from the ground up and my interview with the family becomes an integral part of the entire show's episodes and you yourself have a background in the military and thank you very much for your service um, you left the military in the 90s though what is it about people who you know more recent veterans that what is it about that experience that people may not realize today it's the same thing as in the 90s. I'm a, I'm a Vietnam era vet. I came in and uh, I entered the service in 1974. Um, and back then, the only difference was that people used to spit on the ground when they saw people in uniforms. Um, now we have people walking by, basically paying lip service a lot of times, just saying thank you for your service and not even waiting for a response. You know, that's the reason why this show is so important because it's not only saying thank you for your service, it's doing something. We got to remember that it's less than one percent of this population, or about one point two percent of this population, three hundred forty million people, who ever put a uniform on their back to support and defend the Constitution that we all live under. And you know, saying thank you isn't just a lip service thing. Saying thank you should be a constant thing, especially while we're sitting here right now, teetering on what could be sending troops into harm's way again. And um, I think what we ought to do is 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 pay special homage to those who do what we don't want our families to do. And I apologize, by the way, if it sounded like I was giving lip service, I didn't mean oh, to no, do that. Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I was just making a comment about the fact that, you know, our soldiers and sailors and airmen, Coast Guardsmen, Marines are going through the same thing now that they went through back in the 70s. I mean, you know, for a little while we were appreciative and then we turned our backs on them. Well, you know, we looked at a decade and a half of war, you know, two decades of war here in the United States. And now that it's over, you know, people are barely paying attention to what's going on right now in Ukraine. I mean, yes, we have it on 24-hour uh, news services. However, how many people are really spending a moment taking a look at what's going on? Not recognizing the fact that we are only moments away from having to put our own blood and flesh on the ground there. And why there? Because that keeps those people from putting their blood and flesh on the ground here. So... You know, um, it's really important for us to remember it's, it's never a time to forget those who wear the uniform, those who defend us do so from the bottom of their hearts. And we should be supporting them in time of war and in time of peace. And also with something as intimate as building up somebody's home, uh, how does that make you feel to be able to do that? I mean, it's, a, it's an unbelievable experience, especially when the entire community comes together. You know, I mean, we've got in there in the local market, we have Patrick Industries, who is one of our lead sponsors for this particular family. And, you know, this family is well deserving. It's a veteran who, you know, left pieces behind in the battlefield and has served 20 years plus in the military. And, you know, the Stuber family is, has been trying to transition into civilian life and it's been has been a little bit tough. And we want to at least say thank you. And the smiles that we get on their faces after we get completed, I mean, people don't understand. We literally, the family moves out of the house for about 10 days, 10 to 11 days. We do an entire house makeover in 10 to 11 days. That's floors, ceilings, walls, whatever the family needs. And we try to incorporate, you know, their wishes in our makeover design so that when they come back home, they're coming back home to not just the house that's been made over, but to a forever home. And when you said that it's the same thing today as what you were dealing with in your day, what are you waiting to see change? Well, you know, I mean, unfortunately, you know, we, I, I say it this way, unfortunately, we have only a volunteer army, a volunteer service. And that means that sometimes the least of us serve for the most of us. I'm hoping that we start to recognize that with what we're seeing going on in Eastern Europe, we're only a matchstick away from 
having to put troops back on the ground again. And as much as we, uh, you know, our politicians keep saying that's never going to happen, yeah, right, whatever. Um, I hope that we start to understand that right now in the time where it's peaceful for them, we show them as great a support as we possibly can, knowing that they're the ones that are going to get sent over to have to fight the battle for, for the rest of us. Take it from somebody who's been there before. Montel Williams, he's host of Military Makeovers, which is filming this summer in Michigan City. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. You know, if anybody wants to be a part of the show, they can just go to militarymakeover.tv forward slash be on the show and you can come down and volunteer. We'd love to have you. And our big reveal is going to be on the 17th. So come on out and bring that family home. Hey, I'm sure we'll be there as well. Thank you, Montel. Thank you.